Pensive, hypervigilant, these foreign volunteers are reconnaissance soldiers, reliving weeks of fear and final victory in the battle for Kherson. Many are veterans of the Kurd campaigns against ISIS in Syria. Now they work beyond the front lines, deep into enemy territory for Ukraine. We would get so close to the Russians that we could hear them talking. We could hear them cooking their food and chopping the wood to build their shelters. Destroyed the guns. They're like observation textbook where they wrote it, what's going on. Andrei's military call sign is sneaky, and that's what the eight recon units under his command must be. Getting spotted here during the campaign to capture Kherson is nearly fatal. Come back. One by one. But they make off with a trove of stolen documents and Russian technology, all leading to moments like this, the obliteration of a Russian command center and the surrender of a Russian senior sergeant, a paratrooper abandoned by his comrades in retreat. He was shooting by artillery, he is and one more guy captain. Russian take to the captain, but left him. Is that him? No, platoon commander. He tells them he's been hiding out for six days, then warns the Ukrainians that Russian aircraft could attack. He says, run out from here, because aviation is shooting at this place. They've been bombing here a lot, he says. He's injured, but now safe. <laughs> Russian airstrikes on their abandoned positions were a constant danger for the recon units during the grinding advance on Kherson over the autumn. Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, a mixed blessing. Missing with one can attract retribution from the air. Recon is about gathering intelligence and hunting targets using drones to fine-tune artillery. For months, bringing in strikes like this, trying to force the Russians to run. And suddenly, across the whole front, that's what they did, run. In chasing the Russians out, crossings like this have often been hit with artillery and are a mortal gamble. Survival, the giggling relief. But the rewards, they say, worth it. Well, yeah, of course, when I seen villagers, you know, they've seen the Ukrainian military for the first time in who knows how long, eight months at least. Uh, yeah, of course, man, you get a little teary-eyed. You see everybody crying and thanking us for help, you know, <laughs> for helping Hello. liberate their village. And yeah, of course, it gets you, you know. Slow Ukraine! <laughs>